Confirmer Graphics said, create an action on how to retouch Laka Pro. This is how you can create your own focal separation action that you can use to transform my image like this to this. Once you open your Photoshop, to create the retouching action, click on Windows, click on Action, click on this hamburger icon right here, and click on Button Mode. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a set. And to create a set, click on this folder icon. And I'm going to name this set Frequency Separation and hit OK. To start creating that action, click on this plus icon and name your action. I'm going to name this action FX and apply the color red and hit record. Once I start recording, anything I do right now inside of Photoshop is going to be saved as an action. So let's start creating. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new empty layer by clicking on this plus icon. After that, I want to press or command option shift E to merge that layer. Then I'm going to rename this layer low frequency and duplicate this layer by pressing or command J or control J and rename this one high frequency. I'm just going to group these two layer. With this first layer selected, I'm going to hold command and click on this low frequency and just press or command G. And I'm going to name this group Frequency Separation. I'm going to open this group right now. And I'm going to select my low frequency, which is going to contain the colors. And just click on this eye icon right here to hide my head gesture layer. After that, with my low frequency layer still selected, I'm going to come to my filter, click on Blur, and click on Gaussian Blur. And 6.4 works for now. And we can change this later. I'm going to hit OK. Now, if you want the option to change the Gaussian Blur radius, depending on the image you want to edit, this is what you are going to do. Just come to your Windows again, click on Action to open up the action that you are recording. And with this Gaussian Blur selected, just click on this box right here. Once you check this box, anytime you play this action, it's going to pause and you can change the Gaussian Blur radius to any radius you want. Once you do that, let's continue creating. So I'm going to hide this action again. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my high texture layer again. So if I select my high texture, I'm going to turn it back on. Now with my high texture layer selected, I'm going to come to my image, click on apply image. Since we want to subtract the colors from the texture, come to the blending and change it from difference or any one it is to subtract. After that, come to your layer and select the low frequency because it contains the color. I'm going to select the low frequency. From here, Make sure your opacity is set to 100, scale is on 2%, offset is on 128, and hit OK. From here, I'm going to change the blend mode of my high texture layer to linear light, and just rename it again, high texture. After I rename it again, I'm going to duplicate the layer by pressing up Command J. After duplicating it, I'm just going to pin this high texture copy to this high texture by pressing and holding Option or Alternate to open this clipping mask icon. Once I clip it, I'm going to change the blend mode of my high texture copy from linear light to normal. After that, I'm going to rename my low frequency again. I'm going to change name to low frequency. So just rename it. It's very important. I'm going to rename it to low frequency or color. Now the renaming is very important. I'm doing it on purpose so that you can actually play the frequency motion multiple times without interrupting the one you already did. If you do not rename it like this, it's going to affect it when you start playing the action. So make sure you rename it exactly the way I'm renaming it. After renaming my low frequency, I'm going to add another new empty layer and just rename this layer brush here because this is where we are going to be using our mixer brush tool to brush on. So after that, I'm just going to stop the recording right now. So I'm going to come to my windows again, click on my action, click on this stop icon right here. Then click on this hamburger icon again, click on this button mode to show the action. So this is the action we just created. If I just delete this focus separation right now and I come to my action and I play this one we created, it's just going to run the focus separation for me. It's going to ask me to put the Gaussian blur radius. For an image like this, it's between 8 to 15. So let's start with 8 for now and hit OK. And it's just going to run that focus separation for us. And you can run another frequency separation on top of this one. So come to action again, click on the frequency separation, and you can just run multiple frequency separation because we've renamed it already. It's not going to affect the one below it. That is why I renamed it. Now to use it, if you want to move the blemishes on your image, select your high texture copy layer right here, which contains the textures, 
and just pick your close term tool and just press option or alternate to sample from a close by area and just paint on any blemishes you want to remove to remove blemishes from the image while if you want to smooth the skin click on this brush here layer add your high texture layer pick your mixer brush tool these are my mixer brush settings make sure clean brush after this stroke is selected and just brush on your image to smooth the skin like that and with a lot of practice you can use that action to transform your image from looking like this into looking like this and i'll be able to create some useful photoshop action for screen retouching and if you want that action comment the word action and i'll send it to you for free try this out and don't forget to save this video for later